a very good evening to one and all in today's episode we are going to check what's watch points in the debugger tool watch point otherwise called as a conditional breakpoint helps us we the debuggers uh, to reach out to the exact point of interest now like watch points can help us in multiple occasions either it can help us in reaching out to a particular variable for a certain value or in a big loop where it, the loop runs for several iterations and we wanted the watch point to stop at exactly a certain number or a certain uh, iteration so that we can check the code further watch points can also help us in several other conditional statements as well uh, we will see more of that during our hands on part for, for me watch points helping us during loop is of an incredible usage uh, for a debugger and you can place multiple watch points yes and please be very specific about the watch point free conditions that they give it's always the best practice is not to give a generic condition while creating watch points you will know why when we do a hands on session on the part so now let me show you a simple program uh, which i have created a very simple program i am just fetching out the values of mara table and here the mara table has uh, more than 100000 entries and that's the reason i chose that and i have written a simple loop statement and i placed a breakpoint a session breakpoint let me just execute it and we'll get in to the break, uh, debugger session okay now as soon as i execute it system takes its time to get loaded and yes here you have the debugger session now if you see here the number of entries in lt underscore mara it has around it has 110000 entries right now let me look at my first condition okay my first condition would be inside this lt underscore mara it's gonna run the loop for 110000 entries right it's each for each entry it's gonna run i mean run different different iterations right now what if as a developer I'm interested on an entry that is like 40,000 down the lane. Like, for example, I'm interested in this entry. I wanted to understand what happens to this loop iteration. Now, here I have written a simple code with just a right statement. Consider there is some heavy complex logic inside. And I want to check for that particular entry, which is the 44,000th entry. I wanted to understand how does this logic that's written in between the loop executes. Now, in a normal debugging mode, you may without the use of watch points you may have to execute this particular debugger like 44,000 times right you must keep on pressing fi and you must wait until you reach that particular point and then you have to wait correct now how now we are going to see how this watch point is going to help you now consider this is the variable right and uh, this ls underscore matner uh, mara underscore matnr is going to be the variable now i'm interested on a specific value that is the 44,000th uh, certain entry right now here since this is my first iteration my site tab x value is one okay now this now i keep on going now my site tab x value is two and the site tab x value is basically in, incremental based upon the number of iteration that the loop runs on so my now my my loop is on the second iteration hence it holds the second value two but for me to reach out that value of MATNR, which is more than 40,000 old, I mean, which is which needs more than 40,000 iteration, I'm not going to wait until that. As a smart developer, I mean, as a smart debugger, you can just create a watch point for the same. How I'm going to create the watch point? First of all, bring that watch point variable to your right pane by either double clicking or you can just type in as well. So this is the variable that I'm interested in. Now I click on this variable and I click on this watch point. As soon as I click on this watch point, my watch point variable gets auto populated here in the variable. Here there's a program name. Here I'm going to write my free condition. My condition would be, okay, ls underscore hyphen matner. And this is the, consider this is the matnr number that I'm interested in. Okay. I'm saying the breakpoint, or in other words, I'm giving breakpoint a conditional statement stating that whenever this variable holds this value stop the debugger so that i can proceed further slowly using my fi f6 buttons or using my debugging skill i can proceed how the program executes from there on so i continue 
you can see here a condition i mean a confirmation that the watch point is created you can also go here in this tab and you can understand a session breakpoint is placed which is otherwise called as a i mean now the, the sorry this breakpoint is what we placed in the program if you want to see the watch point you have to go to this tab and you can find watch point is created for this particular condition in the global program this is the global program okay now i'll go to the desktop tree now i'm not going to do anything i'm even i'm going to remove this particular session breakpoint okay and i'm going to give the program the full execution rights i just want the program to execute it to the fullest now when i press f8 it keeps on running and it stops at a particular point and it says that my watch point is reached and what is the variable here you see this variable is now holding the value of 89144 and see the iteration it is the 38646th iteration so based upon the condition or watch point that i have set my program stopped on that particular iteration right this is the same value that i have set on my conditional breakpoint right i mean watch point right now go to this breakpoints and watch points tab go to watch point so this is the value uh yeah current value is 89144 this is the current value the value before that this was the older value but this is the current value and my breakpoint condition is here okay let me just expand and show it to you so this is the condition for which i set the watch point correct so my watch point has stopped exactly at that same point so from here on i can proceed further using my debugging skill and i can understand how the logic goes on from here now i'll show you another thing you can also set the watch point for the same variable okay but with a different value for example now here instead of okay instead of this if i'm trying to set the same break watch point now see what happens it says the watch point already exists and was therefore not created now imagine i'm giving another value okay yes now for this the watch point will get created and you can confirm the same using this button you see the watch point got created but this time the condition was same so for the same variable for a different condition you can of course create multiple watch points now let me complete the execution you see the site type x value is 44627 which is the 44627th iteration and the value of matnar is now this which is where i wanted to stop and the watch point got stopped exactly it gets stopped exactly at the point where this value gets assigned to this variable now this is the variable right and this variable gets assigned with to with this value after this loop statement right henceforth it is exactly stopping at the point where this value gets assigned okay now i have showed you how this helps in a particular inside a iteration right a loop iteration it can also help you on a different level like for example this is a standard variable right it is not necessarily going to be helpful for us inside a loop it is also helpful during complete program execution now let me place a watch point on this particular variable okay i'm going to say that whenever the value of the site tab x is equal to say 100000 okay i want the watch point to be created okay i want the watch point i mean i want the what uh, the condition of i mean whenever this condition is satisfied i want the program to halt so that it allows me to take it on from there now of course you can go and check the watch point is created site abex this is the value and now what i'm going to do i'll just continue my execution by pressing f8 button and as soon as you see the 100000th iteration my watch point gets stopped here similarly the site tab x value also gets assigned only after this loop statement henceforth the watch point gets stopped at that point now watch points can be triggered on local variable and it also can be placed on standard variables as well now let me create a very generic watch point now for example okay let site tab x whenever the site tab x value gets a space okay i want a watch point to be triggered now this is one of the most generic condition right if not for the loop iteration for majority of the execution my site abex value is always going to be space i should have not created this i should never create this kind of generic uh, watch points unless my purpose is intended for the same okay now see let's see what happens now first thing what you want to understand is uh, even outside of loop your watch points are going to be helpful because now it's going to search for a site abex value whenever it gets cleared off now for example see i'm pressing f8 it runs see the site abex value is 0 i mean which is space and hence for the watch point is reached 
now i keep on executing now for each step okay whenever the site tabix well is holding a space value my watch points will be keeping on uh, i mean it will be keeping on interrupting the program execution because my condition was very generic okay two things i want to understand from here one even outside of loop iterations you can create free conditions on variables uh, which you are interested in and you can create watch point accordingly second thing your watch point condition should should not be generic because it's going to get it's going it's going to interrupt your program flow at many intervals which may not be your actual purpose so be very specific on where you place the watch points and be very careful about it and let me give a quick summary so watch points helps us on a particular variable level and also inside a loop iterations wherever where the loop has uh, several iterations uh, several iterations to run and we are interested to stop at any particular point the watch point helps you it can be applied on watch points can be applied on standard variables and local variables you can create watch points for same variable multiple times unless the values are different for both cases you cannot create same watch points twice and yes now this watch point is a kind of an accelerator uh, for the for every debuggers uh, to reach out to the source of uh, uh, issues or whatever logic that they're trying to interpret or whatever logic that they're trying to understand this watch point is going to help you a lot so i hope you have a better idea of how watch point works in a debugger tool please do note that these watch points can only be placed during runtime of the debugger and uh, you cannot place the watch point up before the debugger tool gets triggered okay so in my next videos uh, we are going to see more about uh, how to save uh, the different uh, debugger conditions and we also going to see several other interesting concepts about debugger tool i request you to all to all go through my previous videos as well and uh, which will be helping you to increase your competency with the debugging process in sap abap thank you all for your time see you on my next video peace and blessings to everyone